I just wanted to do a quick video to give you a sneak peek into my new In the Word book series that I've been publishing, just to give you a, an idea of what it's like. Now, the In the Word series is going to be a series of six volumes. I've got volume one and volume two currently available. And what it does, it will guide you through reading the Bible in three years. So each book will last about six months if you do it every single day. And if you aren't able to do that, then you just work through it at your own pace. But I wanted to give you a sneak peek as to what this, uh, how this works and why it has been amazing for me personally. Now, what I love, one of the things that I love about this series is that it rotates back and forth between the Old and the New Testament. So the first volume starts in Genesis, in Genesis 1. It shows the chapter to read for the day. Here's where you can write in the date if you want to keep track of the dates just for your own personal you know, reference. It has a place to write, to write down a verse or maybe a couple verses that really stand out to you from that chapter place to write a summary of what happened in that chapter, how you can apply that to your life, and then a place at the bottom where you can write out a prayer. Now, like I said, it starts with, maybe it starts with the Old Testament. Um, I can't remember if Volume 2 starts in the Old Testament or the New, but it rotates back and forth. So in Volume 1, we start at Gen Genesis 1. You'll go through Genesis, and then after this one actually takes you all the way through Genesis, and then you'll start on Matthew. Sometimes it has you read through the whole book. Sometimes it goes through just part of the book, and then it jumps back to the Old Testament. So this one goes through, let's see, this one goes through Matthew chapter 9, and then, it's, and then it jumps back to the Old Testament and starts in Exodus. So I love this just because, I don't know about you, but sometimes when you start at the beginning of the Bible um, in the Old Testament, not that I, I don't love the Old Testament and all the stories there, but I do love the New Testament too. And so I like this reading, this way of reading it, because you can go back and forth. It gives you some variety and helps you to keep moving through. Now, as I said, these are not dated. I don't know about you, but whenever I have tried a Bible reading plan, you know, life happens, and sometimes you miss a day or two, and when you get behind, it's really hard to keep caught up or to get caught up, and you just get overwhelmed, and you ended up just kind of quitting. Um, I don't know. It just, it gets overwhelming, and so I love this way of doing it because you can just write in the date that you do it, and if you can't get to it the next day, you just come back and pick up where you left off um, and write the date in and just keep moving through. Now, I have volume one is currently available and just recently volume two. So if we take a look in volume two, and you, you may want to, you know, if you want to read through this, if you want to use this series, I would recommend starting with volume one and then moving through in order, just because it may not, it may not quite make sense if you don't, because like in volume two, we're gonna pick up where volume one left off, which it went through Numbers chapter 32. So in this next volume, we're gonna start with Numbers chapter 33 and keep moving through. So we go through the end of Numbers, then we jump to Mark and read through the rest of the chapters in Mark, and then we jump back and start reading in Deuteronomy. So, as you can see, this has been a wonderful, it's been a great resource for me personally, and I hope that, I hope that it will be an encouragement to you. Um, this is available in soft cover like this, or you can buy it in ebook format. I personally like the soft cover. I, um, I can keep it with my Bible, and every morning I just grab my Bible and my book, and my pen, and I'm ready to go to do my, my time in God's Word. So I just hope that that is a help to you to kind of get a peek into the books and what they're, how they're formatted, 
And I hope this encourages you to, uh, to get into God's Word each day. And this is a wonderful resource to use to give you guidance and to give you a plan so that you can keep moving forward in reading and studying God's Word. You guys have a great day. Bye.